Hi everyone, in this task you will be multiplying two matrices. So here we have a 3 by 3 matrix and we have a 3 by 4 matrix. And when you multiply it just as a hint, you're going to get a 3 by 4 matrix. So you know what the um, structure of the result list is going to be. So you need to multiply these two matrices using the nested loop and list comprehension expression um, approaches. So as usual, pause the video, attempt the program. I'm sure you're going to do great and you're going to see my solution in three seconds. Okay. Okay, so how was the program? I'm sure you did great. Uh, first off, I need to grab both of the matrices from here. Let me put that there. And then I'm going to say, so this is going to be our approach number one. Approach one. So approach one is nested loop. We know that by now. Now we need to have a result list as well. So I'm just going to provide here uh, a three by four matrix. So we need to have three rows and four, not there, and four columns. So I need to pass in another zero there. Let me just copy this and maybe like paste it here and paste it here. Let's save that. We could make this uh, representation a little bit more readable. There we go. So uh, the way that I'm going to solve this is I'm going to comment out what we are going to do. And I'm not going to use rows and columns. Just the comment is going to uh, convey the point of what it is that I'm actually iterating through. So I'm going to say iterate through iterating through uh, rows of x. First, I'm going to say for i in range len x. So that part is easy. Then I'm going to say iterating through uh, rows, uh, not rows, columns of Y. And then I'm going to say for J in uh, range of range of uh, len. How can we get, get how can we get the column? So we need to grab the row, right? Each each element that is going to give us the columns. So next up, I'm going to say iterating over the rows of Y. So I'm going to say rows. Perfect. Let's come down here. Uh, so for that, I'm going to say 4K in range of len Y. We know how we can iterate over the rows. Perfect. So we are iterating over everything that we have here, and then we are going to store it in the result. So the result is going to accept i and k, i and j, which are the rows and columns. Then using the augmented assignment operator, we can multiply the um, row. Uh, this is going to be the row of x. And we're going to grab the row of y, then multiply that by the uh, row of y with the column of y, which is j. There we go. That's it. So let's grab the result and oops, let's just print the result. Let's take a look at it, how we have done here. These are very simple stuff. So there we go. So we have uh, a three by four matrix in which we have basically multiplied the rows with the columns, the columns with the rows. There we go. So this is going to be the result of the multiplication of these two matrices. Now, there is a thing, there is something that you need to keep in mind that, that this technique is actually computationally very, very costly. If we, if we try to increase the order of matrix, it is going to take a long time. Now, for whenever you want to work with matrices of higher order uh, it is recommended to work with a software package with us with a with a suitable package like numpy that's why i introduce you to numpy this is better this is very very like a thousand times faster if you work with numpy than regular python so that is more recommended and uh uh, this is going to be our first uh, solution. 
Now the second solution is going to be using a list comprehension expression. Now I have to tell you that that is going to get very, very, very complicated. So I'm going to try to um, uh, decomplicate it as much as I can. But uh, let's actually take a look at it. So we have our result. Now, what do we want to do here? So it is going to be a nested list comprehension expression. And in the end, what we are going to do is we, we want to iterate for x row n. This is just the name of the variable n x. So that is this part we know that we want to iterate for all the values that we have in x in the row of x. Now, within here, we need to grab all the values. Now, here we don't have any augmented assignment operator of addition. That's why we're going to use the sum method. And we're going to say a times b. For what are a and b? For a comma b, so we have two variables in here, and zip function. Now, the zip function is going to accept a row from x and a column from y. So column from y. Now the zip function is going to give us a tuple, and that tuple is going to be as much. We are going to have as many tuples as any of the inputs is exhausted. There we go. So a zip object yielding tuples until an input is exhausted. It means until any of the inputs has, uh, for example, uh, if we have this in here. Then we have a range of three and a range of four. Which one do you think is going to be the number of tuples? Of course, the input with the lowest number of items. We have talked about the zip function. So this doesn't have the lowest number of items. This doesn't have, but this has. It has only three. So zero, there we go. This is the zero. This is the one. And actually, this is zero. This is one and this is two. This is how the zip function works. So it is going to look through all the rows and all the columns. And until it is exhausted, it is going to work for them. Then we are going to iterate over it. Iterate over what? Now here, we basically iterated over the rows, the columns of Y and the rows of Y. So we have iterated over the rows of X here. Now we need to iterate over the rows and columns of Y as well. So the, we are just going to grab uh, the column of y. So we are going to say y underscore column n zip. Now here, what I would like to do is I would like to use the unpacking operator. And we want to take out basically each individual elements from this um, matrix that we have and pass them as arbitrary arguments to this zip function. So that's why I'm just going to say uh, star y. And now you can see that we have our result. It has three rows, which means it's three by four items, three by four. There we go. So this is going to be our result. So with this, it is going to come to an end. We can also take a look at, the, uh, at our result as well. There we go. So it is really up to you which way you want to go. Uh, I think, in my opinion, um, this way, I know this is longer, but it makes more sense than zipping and unzipping all these uh, functions and all these matrices here. But this is longer, but this, this is not that complicated. But this tends to become very, very unreadable and very complicated. But you can see that the result is going to be the same. That's it for this program. See you in the next one.